see there's a burn spot right here. This car overheated. See it was black. It overheat. They blown the the seal. See right here? So black and burned. So that's why the coolant was passing into the housing. And then this is something you should never do. You see all this crap right here? This crap is because of the owner added some type of uh, leak stopping or whatever. But all you guys will do is block all the water passages, all the water jackets. See how it's blocking right there? Look, see this one right here? So this is all the little magical shit you guys purchase at Outerson, O'Reilly's, uh, one of those places. The little bottle that says, oh, stop, uh, head gas get leaking or whatever, blah, blah, blah. So the owner on this one added water. Of course it was burning water or antifreeze. And then try to go on and add one of those little additives. Those little magical things that supposedly stops water leaks or blown head gaskets. But those things will never work on a rotary. Why? Because you guys don't have a gasket. You guys don't have a, a, a metal gasket. Or a uh, graphite gasket. We have only seals. You see these rubber seals? This is what prevents or what stops the water going through inside the rotor housing. So once you start burning water or antifreeze, whatever, coolant, whatever you want to call it, it's nothing else to stop it than opening the engine and replacing the gaskets or the seals. So save some money and don't be stupid. Don't add any of this crap. Because once you start wasting water, you either have a crack iron, crack housing, or you have a blown gasket, blown seal, uh, wait, where is it? Oh, I already mixed it, but yeah. So once you're already blowing water, you're already, water is going inside the rotors. You see, this is what prevents that. This is a little rubber. That's what it seals. So you see, you can see right there, black spot. It overheated, it blown, and it start pissing water. So yeah, don't add any of this crap. Because all you're gonna do is gonna make it worse. See how it blocks everything? You see this huge chunk thing was in here. I see the other ones out there already blocking in there. It's getting all nasty. See this one right here? Look. Look all this shit. So please you do yourself a favor and don't use that crap. Let's see the other side. Oh, I dropped the piss. Look. Look all this shit. So again, that thing won't work on a rotary. So, don't even waste your time. Once you're burning coolant, open the engine, and at least do some closing kit on it. All the side seals, apex seals. Maybe not the apex seals, but um, check your apex seals, side seals, corner seals. Check your little O-rings. Check all of them. So, that's the first thing to look up. It's another right there. See how sealing the iron. Look how shit. Look how it looks. Look. See, that's all the little things you guys purchase an outer on those places, so it can stop the the leak or blown head gasket. So if you don't have head gaskets on this, because you don't have head. So if it's already burning water, it's no other way than opening the engine. That was the only way out. Good thing this housing is still good. I'm gonna clean it up. Let's see if this one uh, expanded or uh, lost its shape. But it seems like it's gonna make it. Let's clean it up and uh, let's see how it goes. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.